Hey yo, I'm Colby from Sanitarium Productions. We're back again with another G.I. Joe action figure review. In this episode, we're going back to 2006 with the Sigma 6 line. This is Frontal Assault Duke. So, I am not all that familiar with the Sigma 6 line itself, but I really did like the way this thing looked in the photos that I saw online, so I went ahead and picked this thing up. Um, they're actually fairly easy to come by. Uh, they run around the $20 mark, $25, $30, somewhere in there. And I think that's a pretty good price for these things. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and look at this thing and see. It does come in a nice windowed box here. It has the um, Sigma 6 logo here on the front, code name on the side. Sides are pretty standard here. Uh, then we get something like a file card on the back side, along with some of the other characters from this particular wave. The other side has some of the actual um, action features, I guess you could say. So we have uh, pulsating barrels, motorized action, and the caps form the weapons case. So it does have this really cool feature where these uh, plasticky top and bottom pieces uh, fit together and make some sort of a weapons locker to store everything in. So that's cool. Uh, beyond that, uh, let's just go ahead and dive into this thing and see what we got here. Uh, so on the sides, you've got a clear um, plasticky strap thing that hooks on to the tops and bottoms here. Uh, and there's a little piece of tape on here. So we're gonna go ahead and start by just uh, cutting that tape off. And then that should just pop right off. And then in theory, you just kind of push this little plastic piece around until it pops out somehow. <laughs> Through here somewhere. Like that, I guess. <laughs> and then it just feeds back in on itself. Uh, these little clear tabby things are liable to get caught on things so uh but it's fine <laughs> and that takes care of that piece we're going to do the same thing to the other side another little piece of tape here and pop this little doohickey out and if you uh, just press in on this thing and get it to seal in with that tape it shouldn't get snagged on anything or it shouldn't snag as easily but if it does just pull really hard <laughs> to get it to come through and it's fine <laughs> kind of a weird setup here but uh then once that's done the top piece should pull right off uh there's a little hanger here you can just shove back through that opening and pull out like that and then you have the nice cool top part of the uh weapons case thing so that part's done uh the bottom piece you will just yank these plastic bits off throw them to the side there we go and now we've got the bottom piece there's a little sticker thing on here that you can either leave on there or just peel off. But the rest of this just kind of lines up. It's uh, kind of at an angle. So they do have a couple of these little uh, hinge joints. So line those up first and snap them into place. And then that folds up and uh, just kind of locks in like that. Doesn't do a real good job of latching, but if you squeeze on it all around, it kind of latches. But still, it's kind of cool. It's nice that they include something to stick all their weapons in. So, uh, plus you can repurpose these for other things, but uh, they look kind of cool. So, anyways, there is the uh, weapons case. <laughs> uh, moving on to the figure itself. Let's see. Uh, we've got some tape holding everything else in so let's just go ahead and uh, slice that tape front back 
Doesn't look like there's anything on the sides and more on the top front and the back. And I think that's it. This should theoretically slide out like so. And you can do whatever you want to with the uh, Casey thing. <laughs> All right, so now we have access to the actual figure. We've got an instruction book, and looks like we've got some cool battery pack thing up here. So, uh, yes, interesting. A uh, piece of rubber band from something that tore off, evidently. Uh, let's see here. Let's see about getting this off first. So, a little piece of tape up here. More tape on the back, tape on the bottom. And these plastic bits should come off. And <laughs> uh, more tape holding this battery pack thing on. And this extra clippy thing. And more tape on the sides. They like their tape on these things. And that still won't come out. So let's follow these uh, wires around. They are taped in here. So just kind of pull them to the side. And kind of slice some of that tape off. And that pulls it around here to this thing that we're going to slice And we got some sort of cool light there. <laughs> so that battery pack pops out along with this uh, light thing. I don't really know what it is. Batteries look pretty corroded too, so it's probably not going to work. But uh, anyways, there's uh, the battery pack. We'll get to that with the instructions I suppose uh, this piece can be tossed away <laughs> and back over here we've got a couple more of these uh, plastic tab things to deal with so slice the tape off of all of those if there's an easier way to get these things out uh, y'all Drop some comments and let me know because, again, this is kind of one of the first ones of these that I've dealt with. All right, and then we've got these uh, twist ties here that I'm just going to snip with our wire snippers. All right, it should be theoretically everything so grabbing this bubble thing and uh, give it a big hard yank all right that comes off pretty easily then you have a nice little uh, background image thing you can use if you want to I'm not going to do much with it so we're going to toss that to the side for now anyways Let's see what else we got here. Uh, so, we have a bunch of these broken clear rubber bands and one twist tie. Oh, we got a couple of twist ties here. So, uh, that one we already cut. We got one on the back of his neck here. Pull that off. One on the barrels of the guns. And I think that's all we got. So let's uh, see what happens here. So let's pull this thing out first. His backpack piece. The figure should come off pretty easily now as well. Uh, 
and this ammo belt kind of feeds through like that and then we got to figure out so there we go that can go away all this stuff can go away and let's pull this thing off and get rid of that twist tie and more of these uh broken rubber bands that just degraded in the package all right and that's uh looks like that's got everything uh his boots are on here weirdly so i guess we're just going to twist that around and kind of straighten him out a little bit here so <laughs> Very nice looking. So that's everything we get in the package. Uh, really big gun. <laughs> that looks pretty cool. There's actually a plastic piece here on the uh, little twisty thing here. So we're just going to pull that off as well. That's cool looking though. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, so that's uh, what we get in the box. Lots of cool stuff here. Um, it's a pretty interesting design anyways, whatever is going on here. I don't know how any of this stuff works, but uh, let's see here. We have, I guess these are handles actually for our um, weapon locker. So let's just go ahead and uh, open these things up real quick. There may be latches as well. I guess it'd help if I actually cut something. All right, so we have, looks like two latchy things and two handles. Let's see if it actually gives us directions. It does. Let's start with the directions here. <laughs> so we already did the, the first step here, um, and that makes more sense now. So these pieces here, see if I can get uh, the light to shine on these for you. Uh, so this piece here is an actual uh, latch. So we take this thing here and they just pop over the upper bits like so. One and two, and then that's just uh, that's actually what holds it together, so that makes much more sense. Locks in place like that, and then it ain't going nowhere. Uh, the number four step here is these things, these little handles, they actually just fit right down in here, just kind of squeeze them together and pop in right there, and you've got uh, handholds for them. For your Joes, not for yourself, but I guess you can do it yourself if you want to that way, but <laughs> there we go. Just like that. Very cool looking locker storage. And that uh, works a whole lot better than it did before we did that. So that's awesome. <laughs> Much cooler now. So nice Sigma 6 logo on the top there. Very cool. Set that to the side. And let's go ahead and look at our instruction sheet for this guy. It doesn't say anything about the battery pack. It says attach holster to figure, pistol fits in holster, so that's uh, pretty much already in place. And we'll uh, look a little closer at these things in detail here in a moment. Let's just... Uh, Kind of go through all this stuff first. Uh, place mask on figure. It came that way. Um, ammo strip attaches to blaster and backpack. So our backpack here has a little latchy thing here. Um, this little piece here slides up like that and locks in place. So we take one end of this thing and it looks like it doesn't make much difference which way it goes. 
and just fits in here um, way up under there there are two little pegs and in, theoretically they fit on these two little peg holes here so uh, just kind of shove it in there as far as it'll go and uh, press down on that and it should lock into place and I just popped it completely off its uh, little hinges right there so and we'll put it back together here that's just a little snap joint so it's fine one good thing about these toys is uh, they are meant for people to uh, kind of abuse them so let's try that again and that works pretty well so there is that <laughs> And then in theory, there's these uh, pegs on the back, peg holes. You match up the pegs with the peg holes. And that just kind of locks in place like that. Pretty cool looking. That's a cool backpack anyways. Let's pull that back off though. They are pretty tight. All right, there's that. Um, then the backpack plugs in the figure's back and the cartridges are removable. So uh, these are just cartridges, I guess MO cartridges. So they are just supposed to pull off and they do. So they just slide off like that. And I don't really know what use they are other than just uh, being cartridges so but you can slap them back in there <laughs> I think yeah it just locks back in place so it's cool that you have these little removable cartridge things um, maybe they go to something else I don't see an attachment point on this rifle thing, but uh, maybe they go to other things. So anyways, there is the, that thing. Uh, then we have the big pulse shot blaster, turn knob to wind up motor, press button, barrels pulsate in and out. So let's look at that here. This little knobby thing is what they're talking about. You just twist it and uh, those things move so that's kind of cool they don't really move a whole lot oh that's why you're supposed to wind it up and then press the button That doesn't actually work too well. Hmm, interesting. That kind of works. I guess you press the button and hold it in and then turn it and it kind of works a little bit better. But you don't really get a whole lot of action out of either one of those. So uh, it's a cool concept, but uh, definitely doesn't quite work as well as it probably should. I think the mechanism inside is just kind of messed up. So, anyways, there is the big pulse blaster, the action feature. It does have a nice uh, strap on it here with some uh, little latchy things, <laughs> pegs for hooks. So you can uh, throw it over his back or 
strap it on there, whatever you want to do. So that is pretty cool looking. Um, yeah, there's that. Then we have, let's see, another pistol here on his, in his holster here. Uh, we'll pull that out and take a look at that. Uh, nicely detailed, very cool looking. Nice green barrel. And it does fit in the holster really well, so that is a plus. I do like that. Slips in and out really well, so it's not going to come loose or anything. And mostly fits in his hand pretty easily. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that. <laughs> That's an interesting design, though. I really do like that. All right, so uh, that's pretty much it. Let's uh, take a look at the figure here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, zoom in a little bit here. Actually, uh, I want to pause it, so stick with us. We'll be right back. All right, we've zoomed in a little bit now, so we can take a look at details. Uh, the figure itself does have a removable mask here. So that thing just pops off. And that's a pretty cool mask, to be honest with you. It looks really cool. Lots of good details on this thing. Then the uh, head sculpt underneath there is the uh, the Sigma-6 kind of cartoony looking face there of Duke. Looks pretty decent, though. Uh, he does have his little scar there on the side of his head there. Maybe uh, blowing the highlights out on this thing. So let's turn that down a little bit. So that's cool. We'll brighten it back up now. All right, so this cool face mask just uh, kind of pegs over his ears and clips them. So that's cool. He does have a metal dog tag here, which is pretty nice. And if we zoom in on it, we can see we've got the uh, Sigma 6 logo on there. And then nothing on the other side, but that's Cool that they include these little metal dog tags. Uh, kind of a throwback to the some of the original G.I. Joes from the 60s. Got the uh, Sigma 6 logo there. Some nice detail on the chest pieces. The armor looks pretty nice. Uh, definitely reminds me of the, uh, what is it, the, the reactive armor from the movie itself. Very nice. Uh, some cool details. All the way around, he does have those little peg joints all the way around, so uh, different armor and weapons from the series can kind of peg on him, and uh, you can kind of mix and match very much like the old Centurions used to do. So that is also very cool. Uh, we do have this cool leg holster, which uh, actually has some cool details on it. Let's uh, take a look here and see. Um, we do have... A very nice looking uh, little peg system here. So you just kind of unpeg that. And it actually has a little uh, hook clip here on the other part of the leg. I don't know if that's actually going to work. Or if it does work, I don't know how you're supposed to get in there to it because it's awful small. I'm assuming it does work though. I don't really know how to test that, but uh, you can just slip it off his... <laughs> let's do it this way. Just slip it all the way down to the bottom of his boot here, and let's take a look at it. <laughs> so, a very nice looking holster here. I really do like this design. Some cool ammo pouches there. And then this little web gear piece my fingers aren't small enough to get in here, but let's see if I can take something. What do I have here? I don't want to use that. <laughs> I don't have anything here. Um, 
pencil. Nothing is here. <laughs> but if you got something really small, you can kind of get in here and uh, pull that apart, and it would work. So it's pretty cool looking, but <laughs> yeah. Uh, that thing I don't really care for, but uh, it's a cool concept. I really like the idea behind it. And the detail work on this thing is really awesome. Set that to the side. Let's uh, look at some more detail here. Uh, so figure-wise, again, we've got that really cool uh, mesh stuff going on here. Really cool looking armor stuff. Uh, plain pants. Some really cool looking uh, boot armor. Very nice. And some cool treads on the bottom of the boots. So that is awesome. Looking at the back, uh, not a whole lot of detail work. Um, he does have this little thing on his... Uh... <laughs> okay, that's cool. Uh, so the little communicator computer thing here on his wrist gauntlet. That is really awesome. Just a little flip up thing there. That is really pretty cool. <laughs> they got me with that. So, uh, all right, let's look at the uh, articulation here. Let's uh, pull his mask off. Um, he does look cooler with the mask on, just so you know. But, all right, the head spins 360 degrees. We do have plenty of up and down motion, lots of side head tilt here. So, really awesome joint there. Standard ball and swivel at the shoulder joints. We have another ball and swivel. At the elbow joint, we have a swivel and a rocker here at the wrist joint. That is pretty awesome. Eh, they're a little bit tight, but that's okay. Uh, we do have the uh, ab crunch piece going on right there. Uh, there's no twist on that joint. It's just a uh, forward back motion there. But we do have a waist twist. We've got the these really weird plastic um, hip joints here. So it's a swivel rocker thingy. <laughs> and it goes all the way around. So there's uh, plenty of articulation there. Full front. Full back motion. And yes, awesome side to side motion there. Uh, we've got a swivel and a rocker at the knee joint and then at the uh, ankle joint it's just a rocker uh, no swivel or anything like that so still pretty nice so i'm actually very impressed with this thing um a lot more than i was expecting to be this thing has a huge range of uh, articulation on it to be a 12 inch figure uh, some of you may not actually like the style of these things because they are very much that uh, mid-2000s cartoonish look. But I tell you what, I am I am really impressed with this thing. Stick his cool face mask on there. And he looks pretty awesome here. Um, I'm actually really, really impressed with this thing. Uh, so let's stick his... Uh, holster back on here I'll try to do something with that uh, little joint thing there at some point but uh, I'm not gonna waste all of our time today <laughs> this video is already running pretty long I'm sure so uh, just kind of work that up his leg here it's got a nice elastic band on it so that's cool all right, so that's back to where it needs to be. Let's uh, lock this one back in place. Very cool. So that's uh, back the way it's supposed to be. Uh, we have this really cool, big, huge gun here. Um, I guess it's... Well, so you can't put the strap on and have him hold it at the same time so we're just going to force his hand in here somehow there we go it is kind of hard to get him to uh, grip that thing but once you get it in there it looks pretty cool and his other hand will grip this piece like so 
So that's just slightly a little awkward looking. Uh, this strap here can kind of push, be pushed to the side there. Uh, then his cool backpack thing just snaps back onto his back. Like so. Spin his uh, thing back around and uh, voila! We got some very cool looking frontal assault. Is that what this one's called? <laughs> frontal assault Duke. Sigma 6 Commander. That is pretty awesome here. I am really digging this thing here. Um, so I like this thing a lot better than I was expecting I would. Uh, and I'm actually starting to think about uh, getting more out of this line, to be honest with you. So that is always a good thing. Well, maybe not a good thing for my bank account, but uh, I love the detail on the weapons here. Uh, the entire design of this guy is pretty sweet here. So, yeah, I'm... I'm going to say go out and get this guy if you haven't picked one up already because it is pretty cool. They are not all that expensive, so uh, now is actually a pretty good time to try to find some of these guys. Um, so I'm going to definitely try to go hunt some more of these things to see if I can find some more cool ones like this. So yeah, uh, Frontal Assault Duke gets a two thumbs up for me, and that's saying a lot to be honest with you. Uh, <laughs> So, the only thing I don't really know about is uh, this battery pack thing. It's got a little light on it. And I don't know what the light's for. And I don't know how it's even supposed to turn on or off. Because there isn't an on and off button anywhere. So I'm kind of thinking that maybe this was just part of the original display and the light just kind of illuminates the package. Um, I'll have to go do some research on that and see. Uh, regardless, this thing is uh, pretty corroded as you can see here. Um, so the batteries are shot probably forever and uh, I could probably clean the rest of this up but if it don't really do anything, and I don't really see anywhere for you to attach it either. So I'm just assuming it's just an always on. Otherwise, there would be a a button here somewhere to uh, turn it on and off. So, yeah, I'm assuming that's just part of the packaging. So uh, if you all know for sure, drop some comments down below. Let us know what the devil this big battery pack thing was for. Uh, it doesn't say that anywhere on here. So I have no idea. Yeah, it is cool. So that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Uh, drop some comments down below. Let me know what your thoughts on the uh, Sigma 6 line in general are. And specifically, what are your thoughts on this Frontal Assault Duke figure? I'm really digging it more than I was expecting, as I said before. So, yeah. Let me know what you think of this figure. If you'd like to see anything specific in future episodes, let me know that in the comment section as well. And until next time, Yo-Jo!